Mr Rudd confirmed he's running against the Prime Minister, making this promise if he loses. I would go to the back bench and I would not challenge Julia a second time. Labor watchers have heard that one before. But uh, the fact is I had only uh, one shot in the locker and I fired it. Kevin Rudd seems to accept he won't have the numbers to win on Monday after a day spent canvassing votes. I've been encouraged by some responses, a bit disappointed by one or two, but that's, um, that's, uh, that's life in the fast lane. It's a contest turning on trust, truth and the historical record. Dangerous territory for any politician. Tonight, Kevin Rudd's questioning whether Julia Gillard told the truth when she said she had only decided to move against him on the day she toppled him as Prime Minister. Julia's never been able to answer straight the question which was put to her by Four Corners, which is, was she working on victory speeches weeks in advance? The Prime Minister's claim that she was a loyal deputy right up until the day she asked Kevin Rudd for a leadership ballot has been central to her attempts to demolish his reputation and legacy. I certainly stand by that statement and I worked damn hard as Kevin Rudd's deputy, uh, worked very, very hard in days of chaos and paralysis to try and keep his government running. That's the truth, that's the history. And she's accusing Mr Rudd of avoiding questions about his loyalty. Both sides are trying to give the appearance of grassroots support. Mr Rudd's camp has it in writing on a petrol station receipt. They use this and a bit of chewing gum to attach it to the front of my office and it says put Kevin Rudd back as PM, people voted for him. Julie Gillard's show of support was just as stage managed. Needless to say, that was exactly the reception she got.